Thank God for the brokenness. Luke chapter 9 and verse 16. And taking the five loaves and two fish, he looked up to heaven and said a blessing over them. Then he broke the loaves and gave to the disciples to set before the crowd. This miracle of Jesus feeding the five thousand has always intrigued me. Jesus was generous and kind-hearted and he never wanted to send the people away without giving them something to eat. He pretty much knew what should be done. Nevertheless, he asked the disciples to provide for them and the disciples felt helpless. However, in the midst of such hopelessness, Andrew found a little boy with five loaves of bread and two fish. Nothing was theirs. I don't know how Andrew figured it. The boy was willing to part with his food for a greater blessing. I'm sure it was Jesus' sermon that turned his heart to be generous. When Jesus took it, he broke it and gave thanks. That is what excites me. I'm using Jesus' action of breaking the bread as an analogy. When he broke it, he gave thanks. I'm sure he does the same with us when he wants us to become a blessing. He's sure to break us, but he will do it with thanksgiving to the Father since our brokenness can become a blessing. If you are a child of God and you're broken, don't panic. You're broken for a purpose and God would make you a blessing for many. He doesn't just break you, he breaks you with thanksgiving. You are considered worthy for being broken. Stay calm in your brokenness and see God's wonder. Thank God for the brokenness. Amen.